Productivity increases when processes are easy. So we improve the usability in the different areas within production order handling. We added ability to block output transactions, we add attachments, edit in Excel, uh, and many more. Let's see them in the demonstration. We begin with a planning worksheet to create multiple production orders and print reports for them. Production orders can be bulk moved between statuses. Select all and use change status. Most are converted. The rest need analysis and action. The production order includes a buffer between the due date and end date based on safety lead time in the manufacturing setup or item card. Orders can be rescheduled without changing the due date. Moving the end date beyond the due date will prompt a confirmation. Remember to activate the Manual Scheduling field on the Manufacturing Setup page. Attachments are now included in headers and production order lines, automatically populated with information about items, bills of material, and routing. The Business Posting Group code in the production order can be defaulted to the value defined in the Default General Business Posting Group field on the Manufacturing Setup page. Availability information for components is improved. Select items can be used to add additional items. An overview of activities and routings is enhanced. Routing link code can also be updated within routings, affecting the start date for connected components. Consumption and output journals now feature tracking and lines, like the item journal. The edit in Excel capability can be utilized to populate item tracking details. Barcode labels can be printed for items with tracking from both released and finished production orders. Thank you for watching. You can find additional details about these capabilities in the release notes. Also remember to watch other videos about enhancements on manufacturing area. You can find links in the description.